Welcome to Coding Bat video number four. I'm Nick Parlante. I run Coding Bat, and uh, this is the second in a series of videos talking about solution code for if logic problems. So I'm going to go through this document here, which is available on the Coding Bat site. Here's a little syntax refresher, but let's just get to the code. All right. So the uh, close ten problem. Uh, given two int values, return whichever is nearest to the value 10 or return zero in the event of a time. Um, so this idea of nearest to 10, I'm going to write, uh, really kind of comes down to subtraction. So if I say like a minus 10, I'm going to get a number which uh, sort of reflects uh, how close a is to 10. The problem is sometimes it's going to be negative, um, right? So if it's 11 or if a is 11 or 12, it's fine. But if a is 8, then I'm going to get minus 2 and that seems off. Um, so what I'm going to, the, and the, the, the problem statement uh, mentions this, uh, really what you want to do is use the math.abs function, that stands for um, absolute value. So if I say math.abs of a minus 10, it discards the minus sign. So now I'm just getting what is the difference between a and 10 disregarding sign. And that just, that just turns out to make this a lot easier. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make local variables a diff and b diff, just storing the uh, a difference and b difference because just sort of in, in the logic, then you use those values so much that having them in, in local variables makes it kind of cleaner. Okay, so what does it say is um, return whichever is nearest to the value 10. So what would it mean for a to be nearer? Well, what that would mean is that a diff was smaller than b diff. So I'm going to say if a diff is less than b diff, and that right, so a is, a is closer to 10, then I want to return a. Uh, and then we have the other way, or if um, b diff is less than a diff, i.e. b is closer, then I want to return b. And then there is this third case, which is that they're the same, right? So this less than is a strict less than. So like seven is less than eight, but eight is not less than eight. It has to be really less. Um, so it's actually still possible to get here if a diff and b diff are the same. And so that's that's the tie case it talks about. So I'll just say return zero in that case. All right, yeah, that works. Okay, let's try another one here. In 3050, uh, given two int values, return true if they are both in the range 30 to 40 or they are both in the range 40 to 50. Uh, all right. So let me just, I'm just going to deal with this uh, 30 to 40. You know, we'll get that working first. So all right, what does it mean for A to be in the range 30 to 40? So this is just going to be, there's a lot of use of uh, greater than or less than or equal to. So I'll say if A is greater than or equal to 30 and A is less than or equal to 40. All right, so that's basically saying A, A is in the range 30 to 40. And then we want to be true about B as well, right? Uh, B is greater than or equal to 30, and B is less than or equal to 40. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Turn true. I'll put a return false down here. And we can just run it. Oops, let's see. Uh, great. Okay, it wants me to take a space out there. All right, so it's pointing like that. These error messages can be pretty cryptic, but a lot of times there's useful information there if you can try and see what it's pointing at. Okay. So we're not, we're not solving all the cases here, but this is, this is pretty good. Um, so this is just a big series of ands detecting if both A and B are in the range uh, 30 to 40. Uh, so now the problem is I, I also want to return true if they're in the range 40 to 50. And in this case, I'm just going to, I'm just going to use copy paste here. Not the most highbrow solution, but and I'll just change this to 40, 50, 40. There we go. Um, so this is not an especially clean solution. I mean, this problem just has a lot of little terms in it like that, but um, I think that's an okay solution. All right, let's try one more of these things. Lone teen. Oh, this one's a little tricky. We'll say that a number is teen if it is in the range 13 to 19. Given two int values, return true if one or the other is teen, but not both. All right, so, uh, so let's just think about A for a second here. So a is going to be teen if um, a is greater than or equal to, what was it, 13, and a is less than or equal to 19. 
Um, and what I'm going to do, normally you would write this in an if statement, right? This sort of test and it's an if. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a local variable 18, which is a Boolean. And I'm just going to use it to store this expression. And then I'm also going to make one for B. So uh, this will be B is greater than or equal to 13 and B is less than or equal to 19. Oops. Okay. So now this is true if A is a teen and this is true as B of teen. And it just happens having those in, uh, Boolean variables makes it um, not too messy to then express what we want here. So I want to return true if one or the other is teen, but not both. So I want to say, I'll do it as an if. Um, if a teen and not B teen. Right? I mean, that, that's one way that this could be true. A is a teen and B is not. Uh, or it could go the other way. We could say or A teen is false and B teen is true. And then I'll say true. Oh, false. Let's try that. There you go. Yeah, that works. And actually, as I showed in the last video, this is a Boolean, so really we could just return that. And there's actually, there's some slightly other things you could do to make it a little shorter, but I think this is, this is a good short solution where it, it's still pretty clear what it's done. All right, so that's, that's a little tricky. Uh, I think what's tricky about this is in this case, it's not really obvious ahead of time that um, having these local variables, I think it's really helps clean up the um, writing that last line. All right, so there's a, there's a few problems. And then here at the bottom, I've listed a few more problems, uh, kind of similar. Uh, and, you know, hey, keep on practicing.